So Undercurrent comes from the idea of the unrepresented um, subcultures, the transference, a movement of culture, and how subcultures affect the mainstream. It's about actually the role of the audience within artworks. Hitain Patel's work is pretty strongly connected simply because he considers how culture is formed and his connection to the audience is really quite magical. Actually, this is one of the reasons that I, I was interested in, my, in bringing my dad here, was that um, this space that we're in um, feels to me like the factories that my dad's worked in all his life. I don't know if you think that, or is that just me, or does this space feel like any of your workplaces? Uh, not really, no. Right. No. <laughs> In the tanks, one of the things that I wanted to do is to bring uh, both a workplace and the domestic space into this art place. I guess it was a chance to experiment, but also to respond to the space a bit. In uh, video pieces that I make, I'm aware of a specific kind of engagement with it. I don't need to be there, it's a looped video, it's in a gallery. People can stay or they can leave. Live performance is incredibly different is so responsive to the, to the audience. The words, the specific words you say and the timings and, and how often you, and how long you talk about one thing or the other depends on the audience. You know, depends on what you feel like people are listening to or interested in or, and, and what they're not. They're not that far out of the lit area. I can see everybody's faces. That level of intimacy that you have is something that you can't have in a, in a video piece. real sort of collaboration between Leo and Tate Collective has been forged over the past kind of three months. Kind of symbolism behind the materials used such as um, vellum, coal and brass are really kind of interconnected in terms of the movement of culture, the movement of materials, the movement of technology, how we think about the world in this idea of globalisation. From when I first started discussing about creating something for here, what was very important to me in that process was that I was able to devise the ideas for this performance with people from the Tate Collective. And when I first made my initial proposal, the six people you saw in this performance, or seven rather, chose to be in it. I didn't know what they were going to do. I didn't know what I was going to do either. It was based on what they had created prior, then I would respond to that. The rehearsals we had were more about discussing ideas and it was very open. They really did have a voice in the process of, of evolving the ideas and, and they responded beautifully well, in my opinion, to, to the materials. Kaling, coal, uh, palm oil, brass or bronze, uh, iron or steel, and coral. But there's also an element of familiarity with the, with the materials. There's some people who are familiar with coal and know what that represents. And they have to make the connection to the other material. They will continue to knit this web that is relevant to them. The idea is to create a space through Orange Dot where we allow the audience to come and create pieces of art or manipulate art. It's kind of really about commandeering the space and allowing the audience to really shape that space as well through kind of new technologies such as touch pads and the iPad's quite central to that in terms of the way that you know, an audience can manipulate that space um, using projection, film that have been contributed by artists from across the globe, but also all music that's also been contributed by up and coming uh, musicians. It still has space for people to be able to engage with art in different ways, especially young people at the moment. They want to contribute, they want to be part of, and they want to um, have the opportunity to either view or participate.